The story for Fuse is set in the future and follows an elite group of agents called Overstrike 9. You have Dalton Brooks, the leader, Nia Devereaux, Isabel Sinclair, and Jacob Kimball, who are all the main characters of the game. There's not just one main character, you have four this time. These elite agents have to go and stop an evil corporation called Raven who is using an alien technology called Fuse, title of the game, to both make their weapons more powerful and even sell it on the black market to foolish people that might want to go and, you know, blow some stuff up. So Overstrike has to go and stop them and kill anything that gets in their way. The story is fairly generic but enjoyable mainly because of the main characters and their banter throughout the game. They all have a fun personality and some great chemistry as a team. I really like them and there is actually some really funny dialogue. And while the story itself is not that great, I do like that it's always moving and it never bores you with little minute details. So overall, while the story isn't anything special, it's still entertaining, and I do like that they add personality to the characters. So yeah, the story here is passable. And now the sound, which Fuse has a great cast of experienced voice actors on display. You got Brian Bloom who plays Dalton Brooks, the leader, Jennifer Hale as Nia Devereaux, Ali Hillis as Izzy Sinclair, who by the way also voices Liara from Mass Effect, and Kari Payton as Jacob Kimball, who also voices Cyborg in pretty much everything that Cyborg's in. They all do a terrific job here and most of that personality that I was talking about in the story is from these voice actors themselves because they're just so good at what they do. I love these. I love voice actors. I do. I love I love them so much. The sound design is very well done too. All the gunplay sounds great, especially all the futuristic weapons that you get like Dalton's shield and all the other characters guns that they get that fire different types of ammo. Everything sounds great here and the soundtrack itself while fairly generic does come in at the right opportunities to make the action feel a little bit more epic. So overall I think the sound here is really damn good. Now the graphics and Fuse are actually really nice looking in my opinion. Now I say that because many people have trashed the graphics saying that they are outdated, they look like a 2006 game, blah blah blah. I don't see this, especially with the overly expressive character animations from the main characters. And while it doesn't look as cartoony as it was originally supposed to look, the character design is still a bit exaggerated which works well with the personality of each character. And while the environments don't have too much variety and most of the time you're constrained in buildings and corridors, it still has some good texturing that never popped in for me and the action itself just looks great, especially some of the effects with the main character's guns. Now when the environments do open up and go outside, it looks beautiful, especially a snow level in the middle of the game which has you going down the side of a mountain on a transit and you see all this great scenery, all this actions happening, everything's trying to kill you, it never chugs. This game at times can look beautiful, at other times it can look okay, not great, but at times it can look gorgeous in my opinion. So overall I think the graphics here are definitely not even close to outdated. Now let's talk about the gameplay which Fuse is a 4 player online co-op third person shooter with a twist. You can play as any of the 4 characters, that's not the twist, and each one has their own distinct alien weapon that they can use, that's the twist. Along with the typical and uh, boring assault rifles, pistols and shotguns, you also get Dalton's shield which can protect him and anyone behind him and allows players or the AI to shoot through the shield while the enemies cannot. You can also use the shield's blast which will take out any enemies nearby or you can even throw down a deployable shield that cannot be moved for a friend or you can use it for yourself and then switch to a firearm and whoop some raven ass. Now Nia Devereaux has a gun that if you fire it enough at an enemy it can turn that enemy into a little black hole and kill other enemies around them by of course sucking them in. She also has the ability to cloak herself and go around and kill people with stealth. Now Isabel Sinclair also has a gun, but this one, if you fire it enough at an enemy, it will petrify them and anybody near him in crystal which can then be smashed into tiny little pieces. She also has a secondary ability where she can deploy a med beacon which will revive fallen comrades or give them health when they are low, as long as they are near the beacon's green light. And last but certainly not least is Jacob Kimball who is equipped with a flaming crossbow which when fired on an enemy will pin them to the wall behind them or if you use the secondary ability you can detonate each arrow which will create a shower of fire that will melt the enemy and anybody near him. 
Having all four of these characters have different guns and abilities adds a lot of strategy to the gun battles that you will be engaged in. Having Dalton throw down a shield while Jacob pins people to the wall behind it is just a taste of some of the different tactics you can perform during gunplay. Now the gunplay is standard but extremely smooth and feels great when you make contact with an enemy. It actually feels like you are shooting people. The controls are smooth, the gun selection is nice and the cover system actually works perfectly in this game. Now there is also a leveling up system for each character and every time you level up you gain a skill point which can be used to buy upgrades which are different for each character. You gain experience from killing enemies and finishing mission objectives. I found this part to be very addicting because you do actually feel that progression wherever you buy a new upgrade. Not many games like this one has a leveling up system that actually feels like you are progressing forward with a character. I have a level 27 Dalton and he definitely feels more powerful than he did at level 10. And while that stuff is a lot of fun, it is way better when bringing in a couple of friends or random players for online or split screen co-op. The AI for your teammates is a mixed bag. Sometimes they'll help you out and sometimes they'll just stay there and do absolutely nothing. But having people with actual brains is where you will be doing most of these tactics that I was talking about. Along with the 6-7 to seven hour campaign, you also get Echelon mode, which is a objective based wave to wave style multiplayer mode, which is tons of fun as well, especially since the objectives are always changing. Some include protecting a fused core, defeating a giant mech, killing a specific enemy, or re Reaching something before time runs out. This is the mode you will play if you really want to level up your character or even make some extra money which can be spent on different skins for your character or weapons or you can spend it on upgrades that affect your entire team. So overall, Fuse isn't the best game ever but it is a damn enjoyable third person shooter with some great co-op action fun weapons, and an addicting leveling system. I don't quite get all the bad reviews this game is getting, so color this one as one of the few really good ones because I enjoyed the hell out of Fuse and I hope it gets a sequel, which most likely it won't, but it is a lot of fun and a great new IP in my opinion. Thank you and goodbye.